my, oh my A kiss and so I did Hey lovies, what the Reg is up fam? This is crazy. It is the wedding day vlog. Um, today is July 24th, 2021. And it is literally like almost four o'clock in the morning. It's three like 50 in the morning. My alarm is supposed to go off at 6.45, so like literally three hours from now, but I have been awake for an hour. I can't sleep. Like I literally cannot sleep. I think I'm gonna like turn off the camera and try to go back to sleep, but like I am just so excited for the wedding. <laughs> I just can't really believe that I'm going to marry Michael today, so. That's where I'm at. I'm looking at my wedding dress hanging in the window. I'm looking at my mom's dress, my sister's dress, my second wedding dress, my veil. I'm just like sitting here, like just like unable to sleep and just thinking about the day. I've been looking at the weather. There's no reason for me to look at the weather. It's been beautiful for like a week now, which is crazy because it's been the rainiest July, I think in the history of the world. And it's like absolutely clear today. And you know, Michael and I were worried we're getting married in July. We're like, it's gonna be 90 degrees. And the temperature is gonna be anywhere from like 77 to 81 degrees today, which is just perfect. And I, there's literally nothing to worry about. Everything is going to be great. And I am just awake, just thinking about literally every aspect of the wedding. And I'm just so excited. And I just like literally can't wait to see Michael. I saw him last night. Um, he was blowing up the bride balloons for me and then the E popped. So, <laughs> so we don't have that. Um, but yeah, I just cannot believe that getting married in a few hours. Good morning lovies so it is a few hours later I actually slept a little bit which was a surprise I don't know how I fell asleep or when I fell asleep but I think I slept for about two and a half more hours because I stayed up a little bit longer after I got off camera um, so I slept about two and a half more hours and it is about seven o'clock in the morning now and um, my mom, my matron of honor, my sister Lisa, and Mike's mom, they're supposed to get here to the hotel at 7.30 this morning. And then like the hair and makeup team arrives at around eight. And um, yeah, so I woke up. Um, I woke up about 20 minutes before my alarm went off. And I uh, took a hot shower and changed into the bridal pajama set that um, I got. And you can see some of the dresses and my veil behind me. Um, and I changed into my cute little um, I do slippers that my mom got me as well. And so I'm pretty much bridal ready, <laughs> I'm excited. Um, I went to order room service. My sister's picking up food from Panera for everyone when they get here and she also got some sweets and pastries yesterday that that's out in the living room area i'll show you guys um and then she also told me to get something from room service for breakfast but i actually don't think there's like a room service breakfast i like went on the menu and i didn't see it there um but i do know that they do a hot breakfast from like 7 to 10 so that should be starting soon, but you have to like go down, I think. Um, 
so i'll have to look into that a little more when she gets here because i might get something from downstairs but i'm not super hungry right now these are the things that she got some of the pastries she got for everyone just to make sure that everyone has like some things to munch on and then those are all the champagne flutes that we have because we have the bottle of champagne that they gave us as a gift that i pointed out yesterday and um in this closet i have a bottle of moet that we're gonna pop open and give the girls some and mike some mimosas so i'm just gonna lay down in bed now and hang out for a little bit just kind of relax and then you know start getting ready for this wedding <laughs> my face is memorizing the brush strokes <laughs> here today but I'm also so lucky to be friends with both Terry Ann and Michael because with all honesty they both have the kindest souls and are truly so when Michael and Terry Ann asked me to officiate this wedding I was shocked that they both trusted me to run the ceremony <laughs> but having just watched Terry Ann walk down the aisle towards the love of her life I am completely humbled to be here and honored to be a part of something greater than me and greater than any one of us individually. I asked Terry Ann and Mike which one of them they thought would become more emotional during the ceremony, but who would have thought that it could possibly be the officiant that was in the right? <laughs> so thank you, Michael. Thank you, Terry Ann. Thank you for having me be part of your special day. I am so thankful and honored to be your official, but also, most importantly, your friend. Yeah. Woo. Mr. and Mrs. Michael Rowe! Transforming now these cars and planes, I'm always boarding Just out touring down in Charlotte like I play for Hornets When I'm performing, never boring, now you can't afford it Champagne Perrier, finished friends on my face Looking like I'm from the D, D's no Cartier's Pockets 
deep, 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 bro I can make it in my seat, bro Do you and do me, bro Make a noise, use a beat, bro I press the button and the door How do you feel? I feel drunk, merry, and happy. Yeah, I love that. Get it, girl. Love you. Have a great night, honey.